Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you a live demo of how Azure RBAC works. RBAC stands for Role Based Access Control. In the previous video, we saw a full concept of RBAC, but we haven't seen a demo yet. So this video will cover the complete demo of RBAC. So come, let's dive in. All right, so I have opened up the portal. I've logged into the portal. Now, the first thing that we saw in the video about our backers who right so we have to deal with this who first it could be a user it could be a group or a service principal or a managed identity okay so let's take a look i'm on the portal what you can do is you can either create a group a resource group or a, a particular resource so let me uh, take an existing one so let's go to all resources because i have a lot of resources i will just go inside any of the resource group okay remember the security principle is the first thing that comes into picture and in this i'm talking about a group okay resource group all right so we are inside the resource group now this is something that you should know from azure perspective so our pack is very very important and that's the one which will give you access to the granular level okay it's not very wide it's a very granular level access is possible only through the azure or back all right you go to resource group you go to resource you go to anywhere inside the azure and to the left side panel if you look at here there's something called access control right iam it stands for access control right so if you go here you can here itself you can see um, you click on add you will be presented with three options either assign that user itself or this this uh, resource group as a co-administrator which will get almost every privilege or a specific role assignment or a custom role so we will see both the things but let's say i've logged in right so even if you're logged in so when i say we have logged in because this is a personal account i am the owner so i will have full access but think of this if you are working on a company if you do have access to this portal as part of the company's uh you know because you belong to ad group and you will also have access to the portal then you know go there and see what is your privilege click on my access like view my access because i'm the owner i have full access but based on who you are your access will change here okay now we are talking about the r back so let's focus on the r back right there are two options let's first take a look at the inbuilt roles so click on add role assignment okay so the role can be assigned to who to whom we are assigning we are assigning to a group or user or service principal or managed identity right i will show you everything here now you go here okay and then under this role you will see a plenty of roles here right so what i'm going to do was let's say i wanted to talk about storage account okay if i try a storage account you know the lot of uh, roles that are inbuilt roles will come here so for example uh reader and data access it will tell you what this description of all about um let's say storage uh blob data reader i can read only the blob containers right so it says allow the reader acts read access to azure storage blob containers and data so let's say i choose this okay and then uh before i click on next i will scroll down and show you what it is you see this right now it is 25 because we filtered it actually more than 525 uh inbuilt roles are available okay um so if i go next or let's say come back and then let me clear this and you will see it was 500 down here see 526 inbuilt roles are available all right so we already selected a role this is the role and then here is the thing that you need to choose right the, the principal the security principal it could be a user group or service principal or a managed entity Let's say the drop down option is uh, the 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 radio button is choose as the first one you need to click on select members you cannot just proceed because it will show you errors okay when you click on select members based on which option you have choose here okay it is giving you options here these are the dummy users that i created under the users of this account okay under my organization when i say organization learn smart coding at the rate gmail.com is a login for Microsoft Azure but that's one of the tenant for Microsoft okay so i'm one of the organization how big i am how small i am doesn't matter it's just an organization okay so under which i have these dummy accounts if you can see 
chris at the rate learn smart coding gmail at i mean dot on microsoft.com right it's basically my email id appended to the um the subdomain of this on microsoft.com i can choose any of these users or i can also choose um manage identity and then if i uh, refresh this okay select members you see now the option changed now i have only one subscription so i'm clicking on that subscription in company in organization there will be multiple subscriptions okay now it will give you what are the managed entity that are already there under the subscription you can choose any of these things if you remember one of the video i have showed you how you assign the system identity of a web application right web app so those things will come here okay so let's say i choose um let's say i choose this and then it will list down what are those so you see essential product api it's basically a web app it's showing right it's a web app all right so i choose the subscription here and then the manage identity once i choose this right it will list down what options i have i have these two managed i mean like the system identity basically so these system identities are nothing but my web app you can see with this um, symbol itself i can choose this and then i can say select see the moment you select something it's basically we are saying this web app to which the system identity is enabled and for that identity we are giving read access to the blob storage so without even the credential this application can now try to access the blob storage as a read only user and then if i say next it's just an extra condition if you want to add say click on review and assign and you will be able to assign it okay so this is how you assign a, a role to a particular thing right it could be user group it could be a system identity or manager identity okay let's say i wanted to assign a role let's go to the users right so users all right so if you go to the users right you can you can create your own users go to the uh, you know role assignment the way we did instead of the system identity you pick up a user and then provide an access and if you log off and log in using that dummy user you will see how you have access to that user assigned right only the user will be able to go to that storage account and will be able to read he or she will not be able to see anything else but generally speaking right your know, these things will not be done at the at, from the organization they will do it to the group level so for a particular group they will do this role assignment and they put the user into the multiple groups okay some group might have access to only the storage account so that user will go inside that account that group and that user might also go into a different group which might have some other privileges right so that's how the role assignments happens uh, and that's what called co right now what is the next thing that we saw who what what is nothing but the role that we picked up right but we haven't seen all of these things right so let me show you all of these things as well and then the last one is var in this case we assigned at the resource group level you can assign it at the subscription level also or at the particular resource also okay you can go inside the resource and you can assign to like for example in the key vault uh, example we saw you go inside the key vault and then pick up a particular um you know a particular identity and give some permission right you can give that also now let's go inside again user resource group right just for the example so if i go here and then if i go to iam there's something called add custom role okay so before i do that let's let me show you how it works okay so we picked up uh, one role so for example let's go and do the same thing sto reg storage so storage read right so for example storage blob read so next and then i can pick up somebody just for name sake and then conditions review you can you can do like this and then in order for you to check the json of the role so let's go to the resource group okay so let's go to the resource group and then i picked up the resource a resource group and then here if you see now let's talk about the custom role okay so for the custom role if you click on custom role we start like this right we either start a clone a particular role or start from scratch or just pick up 
a particular JSON. Okay, so where is this JSON coming from? So let, let's go with the start and then you'll see. Okay, I gave a name called read only for storage account. Okay, this, this is only for understanding storage account. Okay, and then if I go to permission here, this is what you need to understand. Okay, see there are two things add permission and exclude permission. Okay, so let's go one by one. So if I click on add permission, take a look at this, it will give you all the 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 resources access it will give you so here let's search all right if i search with a uh, storage account here you see this storage is coming and here remember we had three options right so let's go back and understand here you remember here see when we are building a new custom role basically you, you will end up seeing this kind of a json it will have a name which we gave description we gave and there are four important things action not action data action not data action and where you're assigning that's called assignable scope so let's talk about this action now so if you consider here action data action right and then this is like adding permission all right so here if you look at this i am going to give access to this read okay read access i have i say add which means i'm able to read access right and if you go to json see the read has become unto the action part we still don't have this not action and data action so let's go to permission okay and then let's go and click on exclude permission so here also i'm going to do the same thing see i'm giving right here but here what i will choose is not data action so for not data action let's see what happens right so i'm not giving right access I don't give delete or maybe just i don't give delete access okay i add it let's go to json you see this not data action was already added okay this is a denial thing so let's go here let's go to so now if you go and click on data action okay so we have data action and action so data action i'm saying right is possible so see three different things i've added now we got data action action and then not action we have not got so let's say exclude permission click on exclude permission and then say storage account so all right so if i go to json what do we don't have not action we don't have right all right see let's say i give this permission okay so we got everything so let's understand this right action is we are giving them read access not action is they cannot tell it for data action they can write but they cannot tell it okay so we have to be very clear on this this is called permission we do not have the assignable role yet that is what the third option is assignable scope is right now it is assigned to this resource group okay we can also uh, click on this and then choose at what level you want to do see i have only one subscription at the subscription level i'm giving or if you say i don't want this i want the resource group level it'll ask you to which resource group i click on this it is already there so let's say i give this to this different resource group okay select and then if you go to json and see it will give you options of what it has see to where it is assigning okay and then click on review create that's it a role will be created and the created role will be available for you to choose uh, when you do this role assignment like how you saw the inbuilt roles similarly you can pick up these kind of uh, custom roles as well so now i hope you understand how the inbuilt roles are used to where it is assigned at what level it assigned so remember who what where okay if not go through the slide and then for the custom role also it's the same concept but you need to understand how the permissions are defined action not action data action and not data action okay so that's all even in interview if you if been asked about this rollback this are even if in the interview if you have been asked about this R back you'll be able to answer all of these things don't worry i have a separate video for R back interview questions we'll talk about that in the in, in the separate video and i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up put your questions in the comment section if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video. thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding